वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे
There's two options we have. We could climb up using the rope from below. That's our own ego. I am going to go to God. I am going to achieve enlightenment. I am going to find out who I am. Or we could say, Guru is going to bless me. I'm going to take your name. Instead of taking my name and say, I am godly and I am spiritual, we're going to say, Who do you? You are the perfect treasure. Tu tu karta, tu Mujme reha na By saying my Guru's name, by calling upon the one who was sent by my Guru, i.e. Guruji, we can merge upwards. The rope from above is relying upon Guruji and upon Vahiguji. As in, Akhna Jod, Chupena Jod. I have no strength, I rely upon the one that's come from above. Now the guarantee is the rope from above will get there. But the problem is with the rope that we have, our own ego, it might not go all the way, it will be stuck halfway. Because we'll clip it up all the way and we might find it's not long enough. So now, the Sith then ask Guruji, Okay, you've explained to us, to us about don't judge anybody else, no one is high, no one is lower. But tell us then, what should we do? Ki kariya, in this world. And they ask about the law of karma in the 34th body. The law of karma in India is there's three types of education that they use in the Vedas. One is called karam khan. Karam khan means the law of action. How should we behave? And the Brahmanas and the Mantras of the Vedas, they talk about this part. The other two parts of education are about the Anayas, which talk about Upasana Khand. Upasana Khand is about worship. How should one worship? The third one is Upanishads, which talk about Gyan Khand. So you have Gyan, Karam and Upasana. Knowledge about um, ultimate Brahm Gyan, knowledge about how to worship, knowledge about how to do actions and rituals. Now in then Karam Khan, you see, now we might think of the law of karma in a very simple way to say, as we sow, so shall we reap. You're going to Karam Khan. But there's another form of in India, Karam Khan, which is about rituals. So you can imagine that some people think, oh, I've got some bad karma. How do I get rid of it? And when we used to go to the holy people in India and say, I've got bad karma, what they would do is, they would say, to see poor Karalu, feed longer to the Brahmins. Set up a fire, sacrifice some goats, give it away to the poor. So people have been looking from the beginning of time how to earn good karma and cut out bad karma. But how they've been doing it is through rituals. And even nowadays you can say that a lot of people they think, I want to do something good, I can't part from Sukhni Sakharam. But the question is, how much of that are we listening to and trying to understand? How much power are we doing in our house, paying someone else to do it rather than listening to it ourselves and trying to understand it or doing it ourselves? So this is about rituals. And within every religion I would say, there are experts in rituals. What you should do and what you shouldn't do and when you shouldn't do it. And Mara says that these people who are becoming experts in this thing, they will tell you what time to do something, whether it's morning or night time. They will tell you what day to do it. They will tell you which season. They will give you the exact mathematical science about doing all these things. Now, when we think about um, Guru Sahib being asked this question, he explained to us then how should we act. Manas knows that Karam Khan has two, reasons, two meanings. What is our karma and also what are the rituals we can do. So Manas now ex explains to the Sith what is Karam Khan and what is the law of action. And how should we act in this life? So Guruji in this body says, Rati Rutti Titti Var Pavanapani Agni Patal Tisvich Tarati Thaparaki Taram Sal Tisvich Jiya Jugat Ke Rang Tinke Naam Anek Anand Karmi Karmi Hoye Vichar Sacha Aap Sacha Five khand, 
most people, I would say, that I've met over the years, struggle with this part of Japji's life. It's very deep. And even myself, there's no way that we can explain this in full detail. Maharaj even tells them Gurbani, he, how can we explain this? It's so deep. Maharaj says, Kya ho kathi 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 Main akat na kathna jai. I can't do katha or something which is akat. It's something which is not telepo. It's something which is only, you can only experience it. It's very hard for us to go down that level. Even Guru Sahib says, Jabki Sahib, Jail ho jana akha nahi. Kehna kathna na jai. He's saying, if I was, if, even if I knew, I couldn't explain it to you fully because this is not something which can be told. It's something which is experienced. So Sikhi is a path of spiritual experience. Sikhi is not a path about talking about God. It's about a path to merge with God. And in these five khands, we're going to get told more and more about how that happens. So the first khand is introduced here, which is Dharam khand. And we know that after this one is going to talk about Gyan khand, then Saram khand, and then we're going to talk about Karam Khand and finally the destination if we're going to talk about five step process the fifth one is not the step it's a destination is Sach Khand Sach Khand we say Niram Khand so we're trying to get to that place which is the abode of that immortal Vahid Guru and it's a spiritual progress we're not going to travel anywhere else we're going to go in our head and we're going to basically go from our soul is going to start becoming more and more part of that one creator so the such one is Satyara. The same question is the first part of this one. Give Satyara hoi. Give Gude no Tepa. Satyara is such a truth. In Islamic they must say Hakikat. What is the reality? What is true reality? And what is falsehood? Gura is falsehood. So give Gude no Tepa. There's a wall of falsehood that's separating us from the truth. And Guru Sahib to break down that wall, which is basically inside us to experience the truth. Now also we talked about the Satkumika, the seven stage process. And this one now is the third process, we talked about that earlier. And in this third one, the first one we described was about having the desire for now, the right Icha, Shub Icha. So Maharaj says, Ikdu ji bo lakku hai, lakku ve lakkuis, lak lak gena akhiye, ek naam jatis. So the right desire is to say what he was name. That's all we want to do. Then the next one Maharaj talked about is this idea of accepting God's power. The vichar is that I have no jor, everything is in your hands. Now the third stage Maharaj talks about in, 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 t- tends to be talking about spiritual wake, waking up. These one, two and three, they're part of Jagrat, to wake up. So Janaka Sahaja, first they were almost like not even anywhere spiritually. Then they wake up to the truth, what is there. They haven't increased massively spiritually. We, most of us would love to be at this stage, just to get to this stage. Even the first stage is very hard because the aim is so high. But this stage now is, is now the person is awake, Jagrat. And it's called a Sun Pavna or Tan Mansa. Mansa is our mind and Tan means string. So our mind becomes like a string, it becomes controlled by Guruji, and also our mind becomes very thin. And really, what this is about is a transformation of the mind. What was there before changes. All our rules change. The mind is transformed and it becomes free from the attractions of the world. The Maya no longer becomes so important. We become free of the world and now we start living a certain way. We start living a life which is dedicated to a spirituality. So therefore it becomes a discipline. It's a way of living which is in line with spirituality and we stick to it. It doesn't become hard for us, it becomes like this is what we're going to do. We start to achieve the stage of breaking away from Maya. So this stage then takes us to the next stage, the fourth stage, which is about Satopati. Satopati is about becoming purified. When the person starts to achieve that level of living a life in accordance with a spiritual life and achieves it, then they get enlightenment. The first stage of enlightenment, which is Gyan. So the next stage of is going to be Gyan Khan. We're going to see that the person is blessed with Gyan, Atma Gyan, spiritual knowledge. If we die in this third stage, where we become a Dharmi person, Antaram Khan, they say that the person will not die and go back into, say, animal life. 
they will die and they may go to heaven for some time, but they will come back and they will come back as a Gyan oriented person. So they will come back to this level, so they can experience the next stage which is enlightenment. That's and not full enlightenment, but it's a part of enlightenment. So, when we talk about Tarakhan, Guru Swayam was asked about what is the right action. Mahana starts off by saying, Ratti Rutti Thitti Vava Bhavanapani Agni Baba. So, in the first Panti, Mahana talks about Kami. Ratti Rutti Thitti Vava. Ratti means night time versus day time versus time. Rutti is season. There's six seasons in India. And Titti is about what date it is. You know, like we have a birth date that comes every year at the same time. And Vaar is what day of the week. If you can imagine when you were in India, if you were to get married to somebody, even now, the Pandit will say, when were you born? What day was it? What time of the day it was? What was the time of the season? And what was the day of the week? Because these things follow into horoscope. We're trying to work out what is the right way to act according with Rati Rati Titti Vaar rituals. Time and also what is talking about creation, the world. He pavan, which means wind or, or air. Then pani, which we know means water. And then agni, which means fire. And patar, which can mean earth and can also mean have health. You can? So it's true that there is time and there is creation. Man is living within time and within creation. But also we become so much used to making rituals out of these things. It's become a common thing that we, we care what time of day is, what time of night is. We care about things like what season it is. What, we have special months, we have special days, we have special hours. Some people even within the Sikh community will not eat meat on a Tuesday. This is my matter. Now, if you look at the earth, we can see the truth that the earth doesn't care what day of the week is. The, the sun comes up, sun goes down. Actually in Sikhi, we're unique. Because amongst all the religions in the world, everybody has special months or special days. But Sikhi is every day the same. Nitya Nitya Kurta. We have our Nitya name. Every day is the same. In an in a Arabic country, maybe we take Friday as a holiday. In this country, we come to Kurta on a weekend because that's when they get free. You can? So we have no special days. We celebrate our Guru's birthdays, but we have no special days that are for anything else. Also, Guru Sahib tells in Japji Sahib ki Thitta Vaha na Jogi Jane Ruth Mahana Koi That a yogi person, the person who wants to become one with God does not care about, Ruth, about these things about days, what time of the day is, what time of the week it is All they care about is becoming one to that one So people have made rituals, but Guru Sahib says these rituals are important Then people have made rituals out of wind, water and uh, fire as well because we know that most of the people in India, Agni, they get married around fire. You can have Hindu. Also, they say fire, fire, fire is very important. They do a jyot. And we'll see that in lots of places that people do a jyot. We know that in Pani, people do things like the Ganga Jal is pure. So bathe in the Ganga. Even though now they say they get cancer from the Ganga Jal because they're so polluted. Right? We know about things like people go to Tirith to go and wash out the wall or we'll go to Arsan Tirith. The, the 86, the place of the 68, sorry. And also, there's a devta of just wind, vayu. Vayu is a devta of wind. There's a devta for agni, and there's a devta for pani as well. So we do all these things. With uh, Patal, there's also things like we have Mother Earth, what they call Gaia. There's also sacred earths, special places that are holy for different people, like Jerusalem is a, special, is a holy place for the Muslims and the Christians and the Jews. So, Maharaj talks about this has become ritualism. Ratti, Rutti, Titti, Var, Pavan, Pani, Agni, Pata. What's Guru Sahib's answer? Now Guru Sahib explains. Forget Tarn Pan, these are Jews. What did they say? And they say, this which Tarti taught the key Tarn Sahib. This earth. And Pai Gurasi explains this to us. Pai Gurasi says clearly, he goes, Sacha, Sivjan Har, Sach Samai. The true way to made anything is everywhere. Sacho born by Kartikar Chaya. That the truth, this such way group, made the air, which is inside every single one of them, which is Prana. Pavanam, Pani, Saj, Seas Nivaya. 
Then from A came water. And we know that with H2O, this hydrogen and oxygen, which makes water. But this is not, this is not scientifically true as well. But we are saying, sees the way. And Pani is very humble. You see, it always goes downwards. Then they say, and the earth is like a raft floating upon the water. We talked about Patal here as well, the earth is coming to it. Then they call Niro Upaje Agu, one Khanda Chaya. From water came fire. How did it come from? How does water create fire? Interesting, isn't it? Because it's inside every Navkan in all the creation. Water is what lets the trees grow. And trees are what burn. Vegetation burns, vegetation grows from water. So that's where water creates fire. Then he says, Agi Hoi Birk Supalapalaya. That this very fire that we think is causing the wood to burn, but also with the fire from the water, the trees they grow full. Vegetation. Full as in Hal, sorry, fruit, we don't eat flowers, we uh, best uh, fruit. So the tree, the heat from the water actually gives the trees to become fruit. Then they say, Pawn, Pani, Vaisandar, Mel, Milaya. Wahagra created Pawn, Pani, and Agni. They made this game, joined them up. What did they do? Aad, Ruk, Aades, Khel, Rajaya. That one made this game. And this is the game. This is which the deep half of the key, This earth is created as a game. And who are the players? The first step is to figure out that we are the players. That Maharaj is telling us that this Park Sal, this, this Talam Sal, Talam Sal, the word itself, we can examine, is like there's three other words that come in Gurbani to talk about Sal. One is Park Sal. In a Park Sal, we make food. There's a famous Shabbat which is Anik Prakar, Bojan Mokhiye, Mokhinjan Mishdai, Kari Park Sal, Soj Vavitra, Un Lava Pog Harai. People do it at last time. The part shal is the kitchen. There's also a part shal. Part shal means where you learn part. People pick. So when they go into a, a kitchen, you make something, you cook food, it comes out, you can eat it. When you go to a part shal, you learn part, and you come out and you get tested in your part. When you go to a taram shal, then what happens then? You learn taram. It's a school of taram, and you come out and then you practice that taram. So this is what taram shal means. It's a place where you make something. Over here, we're making taram. So, the earth has been created for us to learn and to practice dharma, dharma. And we are the players. And Maharaj tells us later on that we will be judged. Maharaj says, Ki, karmi karmi hoi vichar. Vichar means that someone is going to get a book of our actions and they're going to judge. And then they says, Sacha aap, sacha darbar. Where will we, we be judged? We'll be judged in that Vahe Guru, the true Vahe Guru in their court in their true court. So Guru is telling us now that not only are we have to learn Taram here, but this, what we do, will get tested as well. Just like food is tested before we eat it to see if it's Pravana. Just like part party is tested before he comes onto the stage. In the same way, a Tarmi person is going to be judged if they are true or not. Because later on, Kacha Pakai Uthe Pai. Whether you're Kacha or you're Pakka. Kacha means that you're not yet right. The fruit is not yet ripe. And the pakka means it's ripe now and it's true. It's ready to be eaten. And who will pass? This body tells us. Maharaj says, Tithe Sohan Panch Parvan. In that place, the people who are Parvan, the people that are beautiful, the ones that are accepted, are the Panch. We're going to get to this word later on. What is the Panch mean? But let's look now and understand what is Tarana. Because Tarana is what we're trying to earn here. So we've worked out what it is. Because even like the person does not to cook, they taught the rules of cooking, then they can cook. There's a science to it. Even the person doesn't know part, can start learning all the and then put them together to make words. So what is Taram? This is the time we're trying to achieve here. So Maharaj is telling us, Karmi, Karmi, Moi Vichar. There's a big clue in that. There's two times. Karmi, Karmi. There's two things that are going to be judged. The first thing is spirituality. The second thing is worldly actions. Like we say, meeting people. So these two things are going to be judged now. And Maharaj is telling us that this Dharam Khan is all about our actions. Because the question was asked, is about Dharam, Maharaj, I've been Dharam. Yeah? 
So in this Dharam Sahib, there's two things that are going to be judged and there's two things we're trying to learn from. Spiritual and worldly actions. So, now Dharam is actually a very important thing in Indian culture as well. For example, we say in Gurbani, ki char padharat chare pai. This char padharat comes up quite a few times. Four things are very important. And this is a very old philosophy. And the four are Taram, Art, Kaam and Moksha. Taram being the, what we're looking at now. Kaam, Art being wealth. Some people want these four things in their life. They want to have Taram. They want to have Art which means wealth. They want to have Kaam which means married, married life and having, you know, obviously um, intimate relations. And the final one is Moksha, Mukti. And Dharmi itself, the word is not, for example, it's used as a religion nowadays. The word religion is not the right word because religion is a kind of a Christian word, right? And it comes from the idea of having faith or believing something. Nowadays we say, I believe in Sikhi, that means I'm Sikhi. But in the old days, Dharma meant that you had a duty upon you. You had to do something in order to be Dharma. You had to achieve the aim that you're trying to achieve. That would make you a Dharmi person. And if you didn't just say, if you said, I believe in it, it means nothing. So Dharam implies a duty, not just a belief. So Maharaj tells us now that the punch other people are accepting. But to understand Dharam, to understand punch is going to answer the solution of what we need to do in this world. And in Gurbani it says, Panch Parvan, Panch Parthan. Panche Pavah, Dharge Maharaj. Panche Sobo Hai, Dharam Rajan, Pancha Ka Gur E Pyam. That the punch, the last line gets to do a focus on Guruji, Pancha Ka Guru Ektim. In the same body, later on about punch in Japji Sahib, Maharaj says, He told Dharam, Dayana. So again, the same thing about Dharam comes up, and here Maharaj says, He is compassion that leads to Dharam. So from compassion comes Dharam, and then Dayana, which is, and then Satok Tha Prakhyaja Su. Satok means contentment. But contentment is, is created by a discipline. Discipline which is described as a string. A string. Same thing we told about Tana Mansa. Tana is string, Mansa is the mind. So the string is discipline. The mind becomes focused upon the string of discipline. And this body actually, Panch Parman, Panch Parman, if you look at Japji Sahib, comes after we do Sunya and then Manya. Sunya, then Manya, and after Manya we come to Panch Parman, so actually, this is the next stage from listening to accepting and following, then we get punch. This is, you see, see, it's coming back to the, it's going back to the first five bodies we talked about and the half of that as well. So, Vichar, the second stage of spirituality, is actually not traditionally known as Sravan and Manan, which you talked about are the two stages, listening and accepting. So after the person has gone to the second stage, in the second stage they start listening to Guru and they start following it and accepting it, then the third stage is they start living it, Nidhyasana. The three stages are Sunna, Manana, Nidhyasana. Sravan, Manana, Nidhyasana. So we perfect it. So in, in Sunya body we get told, Sunya Andhe Pavye Rama. Blind people find the road by listening. Manne Taram Siddhi Sarvan. When we start accepting it, then we get tied to Taram. Our joy, our milah is with Taram. See, so this Taram is very important. You were saying like Jesus having all about this. The five stages we described before, but Maharaj is now making it very clear for us to become a Tarami Manna. And also we know that Guru Sahib tells in Gurbani ki Santaka Maharaj Taram ki body over the Bhagavad Gita. That the road is saints. The first step is dharam. And actually we're very lucky to get even dharam. It's a very high stage. To become dharmi person means you're on the road towards sant, santhur. And the next stage is jnana. You see? So jnana is linked to becoming a sant because you're now enlightened. So before we get to jnana, we need to go to dharam. The person needs to become a dharmi person. So dharmi person, we said, has got two main spheres of action. Spirituality and worldly action. There's actually two dharam sal as well. The first Dharam Sahib is about worldly actions, which is about the earth, Tarti. This which Tarti, Thaprakhi Dharam The earth is a Karam Bhumi. 
God of whom we need a place where we are our karmas are judged. In this earth, we are trying to do actions, and those actions, whether they're good or they're bad, we get judged. The second one is this: we are now in the Salah. This Gurdwara, the first word for Gurdwara used to be Ataram Salah as well. The Saar Sangat is where we learn about Taram, which is true Taram from Guru Granth Sahib. So there's two. This is Vichitati Thakraki Taram Salah. That boy who, within the earth, created the Taram Salah, which is the place of learning about spirituality. So there's two Taram Salahs and two judgments. On the worldly and personal side, there's good actions. A Tarmi person is known as a good person. You can, in India, they will use that, what Tarmi Bandhasi. If he wasn't a good person, oh, what Tarmi Bandhasi, what Tarmi Bandhasi, what Tarmi Bandhasi, what Tarmi Bandhasi, without Tarmi. And Guru Nanak Ji, when they went to Mecca, they were asked this question. They said, who will get into heaven? Oh, Nanak, look in your book and tell us who will get into heaven. Is it a, a Hindu or a Muslim? And Guru Nanak Ji said, Shubh Amla will get judged. Shubh Amla means the right actions. So now we understand that Gurbani is it's not about having a religious title, it's about doing something, doing good action. What we earn in this world. And it's not about these false pride about caste as well. A lot of people say, well, I'm a judge, I'm lucky. Some people in those times said, I'm a Brahmin, I'll get into heaven. Some people said, I'm a Muslim, I'll get into heaven. But I said, no, it's all about actions. If we, um, the Punjabi people, have heard of Bulle Shah, famous poet, Muslim poet, he's a Sufi, and we've all heard about Shaheed Bhagat Singh. Shaheed Bhagat Singh, if you watch the movie with Shaheed Bhagat Singh, where he's sitting there, all Puri singing a gana like a Sufi, this is the song that he sings, I remember this, and he says he will take Amala, then the Bede Hone, Hone in the Bede, he sings the Rijat Kuchin. In that place, your Amla, your Shub Amla are going to be judged. And no one will ask you your caste. No one will care two seconds what your caste was, how much money you earned, what kind of car you had, what kind of house you had. So the first clue that gives us is well, what are we doing about our life? Are we actually living up the Shub Amla? Or are we collecting as much money as we can and it's not going to go with us? So Guru Nanak is telling us that in this world, we have responsibilities as a human being to do the right actions, to be dharma. And also, in this world, actually, Guru Nanak says that in Kaljuk, there is no dharma. Everybody is forgotten dharma. Kumara says in, in Gurbani, Kal Kaati Raje Kasai Taram Pank Kar Padare Pudre. That the, in this world, Kaljuk is like a knife. And the kings, the people that rule over us, you might say, from the lowest level, community level, all the way up to the national level, international level, they are like Kasai. Kasai is the Bardaya. He's the one who is the butcher. So the culture becomes a knife as a dark falsehood. And the kings of this world exploit the people like butchers. And what's happened to Tarim? Tarim has become into a bird, punk. And what is it done? It's flown away. Tarim became a birdie, gets some wings, and it flew off. There's no more Tarim. Mara says, Ur ama avis sat chandrama di se nahi keh chadhya. Guru Sahib says, The world is like a dark, moonless night. And truth is like the chandrama, the moon. But there's no more moon to be seen. It's a moonless night. And actually, Mara says, I've gone, where is it gone? Where are we going to find this sun? So, even in the Panchmiyari, we can understand that if Tarim, righteousness, good actions, come from Daya. So the first one we are in Daya. Tol Tarim, Daya Kapu. Tarim is what we want, that's supporting the world, and the father of Tarim is Daya. So first one we are in Daya Singh, then comes Tarim Singh. Justice and righteousness comes from compassion. And the cause actually is Guru Gobi Singh wants to set up Tarim in this world. And Guru Gobi Singh himself in their body said quite clearly that he has come to establish Tarim. Tarim Chalabha, Sant Obara. That's why they came on this earth. Ham e kaaj jagat mo aaye, Tarim he gurdev bithai. That why Guru sent them to set up Tarim. And even in us in Guru Ajahn Deji Pasha Bani, Guru Bani tells us what do we want to achieve. It's a Haleji Raja. The word people that don't know what Haleji means, Haleji means compassion. The person who is compassionate is a Haleji person. 
And Guru Sahib wants us to set up a halimi raj, a world which is ruled by compassion. It says, Mun hukum hua meherwan da. The order is come of that meherwan, Sahib meherwan, has made a hukum. What is a hukum? Mun hukum hua meherwan da, bag koi na kise ranyan da. What means is, let no one chase after somebody else. Let no one bother anybody else. Let there be justice. Sab sukhali vuthiya eh hua haleni raji. Let everybody abide in peace. Sukhali, sukhnan. This is haleni raji. This is the admission of the Khasa Pant. The Khasa Pant has set up this place where there is justice and there is righteousness for everybody. So Tarim here is good actions at a national level, at a global level, the class of one has come to set up Karam as well. To set up across the whole world, they take for thing. That they means everybody's got food, everybody's got clothing, everybody's got education, and then they means everybody's got justice, everybody's got equal human rights. This is what we want to do. Eri Fateh over the whole Fateh. So even, even being political is a sick duty. A sick shouldn't just try to be sun, sun, sun. We have to be meery and peery. This is our hukum by Guruji. And Guru Gobishji himself said, Shatri ko putho, the Brahmin ko nahe. I'm not a son of a Brahmin. Brahmin is a person who is somebody who is only focused upon spirituality. Maharaj says, no, I'm the son of a Shatri. Shatri means a warrior. Because Guru Dev Bahadur was brave with the sword. He was a Shatri as well. Even if you look at India, Bhimsa, son of Ganga, a great warrior, one of the major players in Mahabharata, he himself, when he was dying, he had a vibe, he could choose when he dies. On his deathbed, he's got so many arrows, he's lying on a bed of arrows. But he can choose the power to die. Krishna blesses him with the power to not feel the pain. And what does he do next? He gives a big discourse on Dharma. What is, what is the right way to behave in this world? What is the Kshatri? What is the right action? And now, what happens is that we break those dharms like that. The Indian place is supposed to be the home of dharma. In that place, they throw away dharma for the sake of political expediency. What they want now, few days, two weeks, one year, ten years, they'll break any dharma they have. What's happened all over India since 84? They threw away all the rights of the individual for the sake of the country. You know, they forgot about what was happening with an individual person. And they only cared about the country should stay together. So people's rights were exploited. But look at the father of India, Bhimsa. They call him Bhim Pita. That's what they call him. You know what he said, Bhishma Pita? He says that when he faced a woman on the battlefield, he put down his weapon. Because his thought was he would never fight against a woman. Nowadays, the people, they don't care about these thoughts at all. They break them. So the second part, now let's go to the second part of Tarama. Spirituality. Dharam does not just mean the right actions. So I said, Niji, a lot of people in our pant will tell you, I'm a good person. Why will I go to hell? Because Dharam is twofold. Even if you do the right actions, but you don't do Nam Japana, Maharaj tells the beginning, the first time we read out by Guru Pasha, that Bin Simran, Jo Jeevan and Balna, Sarab Jasera Jari, that the life of that Simran is like that of a snake. No matter how many good actions we do, if we don't come back to connect to our Creator, our Vahiguru, we waste this life. And Guru, uh, Arjun Pasha, again, Nara Sahib, they're going to read later on this evening. They will read out these beautiful words. Maharaj will say, Asa Mahalla Banjava, Pai Parapat, Manam Dehuriya, Gopinda Milan Ki Ehu Teri Bari. Abar Ka Is Tere Kinte Na Ka, Min Saad Sangat Paja Kebal Na. Sarin Jaan Laak Pabja Tarke. Janam Pritha Jal Pritha Jal around the Maya. If we get a trap in Maya, this human life which has been given to us as a hukum, as a gift to meet Wai Guru, will get wasted. We are here to meet Wai Guru. Go in the Milanaki Ehitiri Bariya. This is our chance to meet with Wai Guru. So we have a mission. And Guru Arunanati Maharaj, in their shamans, they talk about the four states of human life. The first thing they say is in the womb, inside the garden, the child is doing simmering. The second stage is like a child growing up. We don't know what's going on, we start to realize slightly later about our life. The third stage is when we are Javan, where we can actually do something. The fourth stage is death. So 
So all of this life from now on, we're in Jamani. Until we get, we die, we're in the third stage. What happens in that third stage? Guru Aradji says, Har ka naam na chete prani Pikal payasam maya You didn't remember the name of my guru. You become confused with maya. Tan se uratta Jopan matta Ehla jalam gawaya You were stuck in riches, in wealth. You were stuck in your youth. You enjoyed your youth. You wanted to look so nice and pretty. You forgot about my guru. Ehla jalam gawaya You wasted this life with no meaning. Then Maharaj explains, Tarama seti vapaarna kito, karna kito mit. You didn't make Tarama your vapaar. You didn't remember Wahiguru, you didn't have any dharma. And you did not make any good actions to your friends. So he forgot Wahiguru. And this is part of the problem. Harka na na chete prani. The most important thing we have to do, we forgot. So, what is the state of somebody who forgets God? And Guru Maharaj explains to us in Sloka Melanoma, एक पगत पगवान जे प्राणी के ना ही मन जैसे सुकर स्वान नानक मानो ताहे तन If somebody doesn't do similar जो एक पगत पगवान जे प्राणी के ना ही मन If a human being does never even remember what he do once what is a life like? जैसे सुकर स्वान like a dog or a pig One is saying that a human being who doesn't remember God is like a dog or a pig वो भी नहीं करते They don't remember God either and the community said, actually, why are you missing a pig? Well, I said, the pig is better than a person who is very similar. The community said, Kabir, Sakat de Sukar Pala, Rakhe Achhe Gau. He says that a pig is better than a sin. Somebody who's got no why, atheist person, does it remember God? A pig is better than that person. Why? Because a pig at least picks up the rubbish in the pig. Then he does, he eats it up. He said, I think he was on Gaon Chaka Rata, Saaf Rata Hai. Oh, Saakat Bakura, Mar Gaya, Koi Na Leh Na. The Saakat dies. Uselessly, his life is spent. And then, what happens? No one remembers him either. If we look now, people remember Kabirji. They don't remember the king who was in charge of Kabirji's time. People don't remember who was the king of Kabirji's time. But they know Kabirji was there. No one knows who Fariji's time the Raja, Raja was. But they will remember Fariji. So the spiritual person gets remembered across the world. And Maharaj has told us that human life is about meeting God. He says very clearly, Lak Chaurav Si Jon Sabai, Manas Kukar Di Badiayi. Human beings have been given the chance to meet God, no one else. Eh Pauri, Te Jo Nar Chuke, So Aare Gai, Duk Paida. If we don't step on this path of spirituality, we will regret it because this life will be taken away from us. This is our chance to meet God. So, in the same Shabbat, the Mana says that human beings be given a chance to manas ko prab di madai. Mana says later on, kal juk me kirtan par dhana. So, we're going to go to Shabbat in a minute. Kal juk me kirtan par dhana, gurmuk jab yeh laay tiyana. So, the gurmuk is doing tiyan. And the third stage of spirituality, once we've gone past surna and marna, nidhyasa means tiyan. It's all about Dhyan Lagana. To sit down and focus and meditate. The person starts to focus upon God's name and really do it properly. Not just joke about it, but do and focus upon this Mariyata of our living life, our Guruji tells us. So what does this mean for us? It means that without taking God's name in this Taram song of the Gurdwara, we'll have wasted our life. Guru Sahib is not set up a Taram to teach us spirituality. We have to learn spirituality in this. It says, Mara says in Bani, Okhad mantar, tantra sabcha, all medicine, all remedies, all mantras, all tantras are nothing. Okhad mantar, tantra sabcha, karne haar, pridae mehta. Remember that why bring your heart? Taj, sab param, vadyo, paar haar. Leave all your param, all your illusions, drop them and remember why you say why you say. Vadyo, paar haar, kahu nanak, atal, eho, tal. Nanak says, this is the un unbreakable tarp. This is the way to live, to remember what you want all the time. So, before we go on a bit further, we're going to go into a segment about Tarim Salah. That's the Gurdwara, Bir Tarim Salah, and what we should try to do there. And the easiest way to understand this, as Guru Ajahn Deji Pasha tells us clearly, 
ਮੈਂ ਬੰਦੀ ਸੱਚ ਤਰਨ ਸਾਲ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਜਦ ਆਈ ਮੇਡ ਤਰਨ ਸਾਲ ਔਰ ਅਡਗੇ ਦੇ ਤਰਨ ਸਾਲ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਗੁਰ ਦੌਰਾ ਗੁਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਾ ਲਹਿਦਾ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਅਸ਼ੁੱਧ ਗੁਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਿਰ ਤਰਨ ਸਾਲ ਆਓ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋ ਵਡੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸੇ ਪੈਰ ਤੋਂ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਫਰੇਦੀ ਫਰੇਦਾ ਦਿਸ ਦਿਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗਾ ਪਾਈ ਜੀਓ ਗੁਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਪ ਮੇਰੇ ਤਰਨ ਸਾਲ ਵਡਾ ਦੇ ਤਰਨ ਸਾਲ ਆਈ ਗੋ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਗੁਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਐਂਡ ਆ ਸਰ ਦ ਦਿਸ ਗੁਰ ਦੌਰਾ ਇਸ ਬਾਤ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਪ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਸੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਸਰ ਦ so good is this is about tarab sawa is all about kirtan this is what happens in the gurdwara in the gurdwara is tarab sawa we say kar kar andar tarab sawa ho ve kirtan sada baso in every house we should be singing kirtan this is what the point of kirtan is baape tare tar chak no khand prithvi sach to ho guna de ji did this he set up tarab sawa in every house he made us come to gurdwara and sing kirtan so we very blessed in this kal jo ki guru kalari se prakat ho aur aaj hum to make us guru by singing kirtan to explain guru sahib has told us ki in life we can go to many places many places but we won't find spirituality because what happens is we do pop khand taram taram khand we do so many rituals but we forget the name of that that one taram taram pop khand jo ki ne jyoti se then jam jaga ki lute in this world we get lost in rituals and we we get lost in rituals they take this they steal all of our life from us but dirban kirtan gaao karte ka if we sing the beautiful kirtan of that one wahe guru then nimak sever ja chote one second if we remember wahe guru we can be blessed just one second as our path is and then har kirtan sune har kirtan gaao if we sing the kirtan and we listen to it this done and do nothing at night on we will not get any pain kirtan is that powerful tarab saad means coming to gurdwara and singing kirtan forgetting about the world and learning about now kal jug mein kirtan par dhana highest powerful thing in kal jug is kirtan gurmukh jab ye la dhyana less become gurmukhs by focusing our consciousness on this thursday on kirtan and aap tarah sagle ko tare we will soon cross when we take our family with us mara says sagle ko tare har dar ke pas se ho jayega you will go to that court of my guru with some respect that's what we want to panche so hai dar raja you want to get to that court of my guru with some respect so we want to know where is that place so so us to have the only the jaake har har ki tarah the rest remember that one place where is that place the taram sala guru sahib this is which are the power of
ਦੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਰਬ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਤੇ ਮਨ ਵਸ ਆਇਆ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰੂਜ਼ ਗ੍ਰੇਸ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰੂਜ਼ ਗ੍ਰੇਸ ਦ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਕਮਸ ਅੰਡਰ ਆਵਰ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਦ ਮਨਸਾ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਲੰਗਰ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਰਾਉਂਡ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਥਰਡ ਸਟੇਜ ਆਫ ਤਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਵੋ ਵੀ ਗੇਟ ਤਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਦ ਫਾਈਵ ਖੰਡ ਵਟ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਬਿਕਮ ਇਜ਼ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਆਫ ਦੇ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਬੈਟਲ ਦੇ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਬੈਟਲ ਦ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਕਮ ਅੰਡਰ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਫਿਗਰਡ ਆਊਟ ਦ ਕਾਪ ਆਨ ਜੋ ਦੇ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਕਾਨ ਬੈਟਲ ਆਫ ਦਮ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਕੀ ਥਿੰਗ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਨਾਓ ਤਰਮੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਬੋਥ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੇ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੇ ਨੀਡ ਤਰਮੀ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਦੇ ਹੈਲਪਿੰਗ ਪੀਪਲ ਦੇ ਨਾਓ ਅਵੇ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੇ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਬਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦੇ ਪਾਰਟ ਦੇ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦੇ ਸਿਮਰ ਦੇ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰਿੰਗ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਗੁੱਡ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਤਰਮ ਸਾਲਾ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸਕਸੈਸਫੁਲ ਦੇ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਵਰਲਡ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ and this good god of the also and the law of their now the human life is being paid, given to us we get now and they actually achieve it in this world as well they start to control their mind and start singing bani and mana says ki eho astan guru de pai that space in that stage of why guru in that throne of why guru comes from guru gur kirpa so to go back to the shot of chapter sa the podium sa we do now we can understand that if he start him sa Guru Arjan Dev Ji explains these two things work, work together by saying Sarak Taram Me Sres Taram Har Ko Naam Jab Nirmal Kar The highest Taram of all Taram is to do Naam Jab Na and Nirmal Actions, Pure Actions So this is where we are under the joint of the two things come together Karmi Karmi Me Vicha So Mara says Tis Vich Tarki Thaap Rakhi Taram Saad ਤੇ ਮਾਰਾ ਸੇ ਤਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੀ ਜੁਗਤ ਕੇ ਰੰਗ ਤਿਨ ਕੇ ਨਾਮ ਅਨੇਕ ਅਨੰਤ ਜੀ ਹੈ ਮੀਨਸ ਸੋਲਸ ਜੁਗਤ ਮੀਨਸ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਮੀਨ ਦ ਮੈਥਡ ਆਫ ਵਰਜ ਕੇ ਰੰਗ ਕੇ ਰੰਗ ਮੀਨਸ ਮੈਨੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਦੇ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਸੋਲਸ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਵਿਦ ਦੇ ਓਨ ਕਰਮਾ ਫਰ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਐਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਮੈਥਡ ਟੂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਵਿਦ ਵਾਈ ਗਰੂਪ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕਲਰਸ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਸਟਾਈਲਸ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਵੇਸ ਟੂ ਲਵ ਇਵਨ to be honest there is no religion religion is not where they exist or there are people trying to get to god or going away from god that's all there is there's people so there's about 6 billion religions in this world every single person is a different way mara just told us before ki na koi hindu na muslim there is no religion actually or there are people and so mara says that actually the key thing here is who is joining the body group then in the body that we are seeing a bunch of ramana bunch of dawn in the same body on us is later on ji ja taranga ke naam sabna likhiya muni ka the why crew with their flowing pen has made ji ja taranga ke naam many different types there no is no need to judge anybody and then on us is this kid ke naam anek anand there's many different forms of these people they have their naam anek and anand we will never know the number of different types of people there are the number of different types of ways there are to worship the divine the different types of even the colors of people we will never know so also another translation of this word this 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 dupanti of this is jugat kiran in ke naam anek anand is to me that there's many different souls that have different methods what's the key method ke ram ram means love So there are many different ways of worshiping the Wahai Guru, but the key thing is with love. This with Ji, Jugat Ke, Ram. And then what happens to that person who comes to Wahai Guru with love? Tin Ke Na, Anand, Anand. There's many, many people that have merged with that Anand. Anand Ke Ke, Wahai Guru. That Anand Wahai Guru, many people have merged with that Wahai Guru. Guru Sahib says, Karmi, 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 Hoye, Ri, Ja. With our actions, that are spiritual actions, and our physical actions, the ones we do with our own hands, with our mouth, our body, these karams will be judged. So we know that Guru Sahib tells us Chitra Gupta. Chitra Gupta is sitting there, writing everything that we are thinking and everything that we are doing. And he's writing our book. And this will be, this book will be presented to Taram Raj when we get there. Taram Raj, who is actually the, the king of this body, the Taram Khan. Taram Khan is ruled by Taram Raj. He will judge everything that we are doing. Guru Sahib says in, in Kabir Ji says in his body, He simmered budget, they are nahi, they are nahi ki ni, toh mukha chota khai ka. If we don't do simmered, or we don't, don't do daya, compassion, that compassion is the taram, right? 
then if we don't do it, then to muk chota khayega. You get blows upon your face. Tare parai jab lekha mange, to kya muk leke jayega? Kya muk leke jayega? Khet kabi sirore santo saad sangat tar jaye. Saad sangat that we learn about good actions, how to be a good person, and also how to do similar. Mara se sacha ha, sacha darba. That my guru is true. Wo aap sacha hai, and he his court is true. That's where we will get judged. This is what we aim towards to get in the the court of my guru. We know in Bani says in Asa Diva Mara sacha tera amar sacha diva. So your law is true, and the judgment of yours is true. Justice is always true in my guru's court. We will never get hard done by them. If we done something good here, it won't get forgotten. It's not like in our life when we help our children, and when they get older, they forget us. It's not like our parents that we do so many sins for them sometimes; they don't even know about it, and they just forget that. You know, Maharaj does not forget a single thing. He remembers every single thing, and we know in Bani the same body must be what it says: "Badi badi aayi, ja badda now." Because you're so great, my guru. That's why your name is so great. Badi badi aayi, ja sach nia. Because you're so great, my guru. That's why your justice is great. The justice is true. Such a nyam, nyam is justice. In that body, Maharaj says afterwards, explains his Bhagavad Gita, non ek jeevu pari ke likhna ave taram bahalya. Maharaj is made taram raj as a judge. What happens? What does he do? Uthe sachche hi sach ne pade. Jo na bhak kade jo humale. He only looks at the true and the true people, and those people that are kache, the humale, they get taken out. Jo na bhak kade jo humale, how na find puriya. Who call it? Who is Jaliya? The people that are left in falsehood, who didn't remember what he did, they will not get a place to sit in, and they will be taken out and sent to Dojan, the hells of my kingdom, separation from my kingdom, and so on. And then, Dere Nai Lete, Se Jin Gare, Har Gare, Se Thagan Waliya. Those who are in love with you, my kingdom, they will go there. Dere Nai Lete, Se Jin Gare, Har Gare. Who loses? Thagan Waliya. The thieves. If we steal, Maharaj said, "Okay, you will lose the amount of likhna ve tar mahale." So Maharaj said, "Tapji Sahib says, 'Tithe sovan panch parvan.' Only the panch will be successful in that sachcha darbar. Panche baab hai tar ke maam. They get respect in that respect. And then panche sovan hai tar raja. They meet for them. Pancha ka gur ek kya? The panch are the people that listen to Guruji and they follow Guru's tarm." Guru Sahib is giving us a tarah as well how to live, and if we follow that, then we will be respected in that court of Bhagwan. So people say, "Well, I'm a Sikh. Why can't I get it? You know, I've got a gun on my hand, I've got a khanda in my car. Why am I not going to get into the court of Bhagwan? Why is Guru Sahib not going to bless me? It's a good question to ask. Why not? Because sometimes we don't understand what Guru Sahib is trying to do, so we don't follow it. It's not that we don't, we are on our feet and we're not listening. We might not even know the point of it." It's good to us. Now Guru Sahib says, "Look, it's not the same that we are all Sikhs and we're all going to go to the same place." Guru Sahib says, "He sab ek kante hoy aaya. We all came together from the same way. We came from the same jod. Kar jasen var bataya. When we go back, we go different ways. We don't go all the same way because Guru Mukh Laha le gaye. The Guru Mukh they take the Laha, they take the Prophet. Man Mukh chale mool gawai ji. The Man Mukh who faces his own mind." He throws away his life. He loses the meaning of his life. He forgets the root, his origin, which is Wahid Guru. Manmukh chale mool gawai ji. They lose it. What is that laha? Manas says, Prani, tu aya laha le. You've come to take this laha, this prophet of God. We've come for this reason on this earth. Lagna kit kuf pak kuf kare. Why are you stuck in bad stuff? Kuf kare. Sab mukhi chali re. This night of our life. Is going, and when we wake up, then we're going to wake up and we'll realize we wasted our life. So some people they don't listen. They come to Guru Dara and we do much a day, all of us do much a day, but not many people are giving their head to their Guru and accepting Guru Mat as Pradhan in their life. The Guru Sahib knows what will get us successful. Pancha ka Guru Ekya. The Panch people they recognize. No, I need to be Tarmi. I'm going to get judged. I need to listen to my Guru. Guru Sahib has come with the right. Mat, Guru Mat, and my Mat is not right. I am not right, so I listen to my Guru. 
So Guru Sahib in Bani says, Kabir Ji says, Kabir Sancha Sadhguru kya kare? Jo Sikha mein ju. What can the Guru do if the Sikhs have got the fault? If they don't listen. Ande ek na lagayi jo baas bajaye po. They don't get stuck to the one white group. They are blind. And what happens? It's like blowing into bamboo. You want to blow into bamboo, you're not going to get music out of it. Because it's not being carved the right way. So my, this is, for us, Guru Sahib is the source of becoming Parvam. Guru's Hukam lets us become truthful and acceptable in that true court. And it says in Bali very clearly, Gitana manatana sam sam gurko hukam maniye paiye. And what is that hukam? Hukam maniye guru kera gavo sachi bani. When we sing bani and we follow it, listen to it, accept it, and do what it says, then we'll be acceptable in Guru's court, and therefore hukam will be our hukam will follow Guru's hukam, and then we'll get accepted in God's court. So in Gurbani, he says very clearly, we should sing bani and start to get away from the world's attachments and attach ourselves to our Guru. And as a Sikh, actually we are servants. Sikh da ek matlab e hega ki is a seva, a seva. And he says in Bani, man beche sad guru ke paas. This seva ke kaal is us. The Sikh who sells his mind to the Guru and does exactly what the Guru says, that person's work is our profit. So we do what Guru tells us. We don't want ego, we don't want praise, we just say we follow our Guru. And by doing that, Guru Sahib blesses us. By following their hukum. There's a beautiful Shabbat in the body. It says, Hamri Ganat Nathaniya Kai. He didn't look at my gun. Apana Birda Pashan. Haat De Rakhe Apane Sada Sada Ramama. Sacha Sahib Sada Mehrama. Band Paya Mere Sada Guru Pure. Band. Band is to be trapped. On the one side, the world, Maya is trapping us. And we can't do that. But when we break away from Maya, then we fall into Guru's laps. And we say, Guru Sahib, now you trap me in your hukum. So we're going from one hukum of Maya into Guru's hukum. We're going from Guru from one month to Guru month. Band Paya, Mere Sanda Guru Puri, my perfect Guru has now trapped me. He's got me, and then the boy is Now I am in happiness. I am in bliss because I am listening to my Guru. By doing that, we become Pancha Parvam. Because Pancha Ka Guru Ek The The five, the, the elected, the, the, the supreme ones, they only listen to Guru. And if we start thinking, well, I don't know. If I follow my Guru, will I ever happen to me? Will I get that? When Rani tells us clearly, again, he, what will happen to us? Manas says, Sahib hoi deyal, kirpa kare ta sahi kaar karai si. If my God is, is deyal upon me, if my God has kirpa upon me, then I will start earning this way of living. Sahi kaar karai si, so seva, seva ka seva kare, jis no hukam manai si. The true seva is one who starts to accept the hukam of Guruji. Such a gita tells the Guru, hukam manne hoi parvan, ka kasme ka mehel pai si. If we accept the hukam, then we become acceptable. Then we get to the court of Wahi Guru. Kasme paave, so kare. Mano chandya, so phal paave si. Da dargeh pehna jaye si. Da dargeh pehna jaye si. We get to that darga of Wahi Guru by Guru Kirpa. And actually, that's what it says in the Guru Mantra. Guru Prasad. But the Guru's grace. Many people don't understand what that means. What that means is, our Guru has the power to bless us. Guru Sahib, if he's happy with our seva, if he's happy with us following his hukam, he has ultimate power. Sab to vat samat gurte. He's the most powerful. What does it say next? Sab sukhpai is he save. When we become a seva of our Guru, we listen to the hukam, then Guru Sahib blesses us. When we get that peace, the happiness, the happiness of being Dharmi people, we get acceptable in that court of God. Mara says, after this Japji Sahib, that Nadri Karam Kameni Sam. When we start to accept Guru's hukum, we live in the Maryadha, we live in the Rehat that Guru Sam is prescribing to us, we live in their way, then we get Kirpa, Nadri. That Mahaguru who does Kirpa, or Nadri. The one who is able to do Kirpa is Guruji and Mahaguruji. Nadri Karam Kameni Sam. Then by that Nadri Mahaguru, Nadri Guru, we get, and our actions, Karam 
இப்போ வே நீசான் நீசான் மீன்ஸ் வி கேன் மாக் இன் தி ஓல்ட் டேஸ் யூ யூஸ் டு லக்கோ லெமத் மாக் அண்ட் தட் மீன்ஸ் தட் யூ ஆர் மாக் யூ ஆர் நவ் அக்செப்டபிள் குரு சப் சேஸ் இஃப் யூ லுக் இன் குர்பானி ஈவன் ஃபார் தி குருஸ் வென் குரு அங்க தேஜி பிகேம் குரு நான் தேஜி போத்த லெமத் வென் குரு அங்க தாசி பிகேம் குரு குரு அங்க தேஜி போத்த லெமத் தே கேஸ் மா மாக் நவ் தே காட் திஸ் மாக் தே அக்செப்டபிள் இன் காட்ஸ் கோ So there is a nishani. Nishani of Guru comes on us, upon us. And it says in Bani about this nishani. It says, Gun gune samaye mastak naam nisan. When we get absorbed in the gun of Vahe Guru, in our mastak, in our forehead, we get the nishan of naam. Naam becomes paragat, naam matha. We start to experience our tikuti, if you want to go out this way. Our spiritual sentence start opening up. Because we have two. We have one here, tikuti. And we have one here. And when this one opens, then that one opens as well. This is the key, and that's the door. So the 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 sun bar is our door, and that opens with tikuti. Guru Sahib opens it for us with naam. Such a sah, and in that Shabd Mahal says, such a sah, samaya chukke avgan jaan. That there was matha, oh, we get absorbed in such, and then all our bad stuff, avgan jaan na, gets taken out. We don't come and go now. We're going to get blessed with. So Maharaj tells us that actually kach pakai hote hain. Jab we start next spot, next month ki kach pakai. This kacha in the sense of form is a person who is false, not yet right. Akali hai bhai. He isn't. He's not right food. He's not yet. What's the word? Uh, not yet right. Roh. He's roh. He hasn't become fully realized yet. They have to come back into this earth. They have to come back into this the eight point form in life cycle to try again. Can they get kacha? But the person becomes pakka, who becomes ripe fruit. Then that's the fruit we pull from the tree and take away from the tree. So Mara says, "Kaj pakai, oh the boy." Not here, not in this earth, but in that darga of Wahi Guru, judgment comes, and then we get judged. So therefore, we should be judging anybody. We are not the people to say to kaj pakai, to pakai. It's not for us to say you are not going to get to God, and that person will. No, it's for Guru Sahib to decide. That's why Guru Sahib says. So we focus inside. Don't try to confuse yourself with Wahi Guru or Guru. Stay small. Stay in the hukum. The smaller we become, the bigger we become. The more we break our ego and give it to Guru Sahib, the bigger we become. It says in Bani, "Aapas ko jo bala kaha hai, tisse palai nikat na hai." Goodness doesn't come near somebody who says it was big. But aapas ko jo jaane ki cha, so ganiye sab de pucha. That saver who sells his head to his Guru is accepted. Because he's selling himself and saying, "I am nobody, Guruji. You are everything." And Mara says, "Next, naan ke gaya jaape jaan." When we leave this earth, when we leave gaya, jaape jaan. Jaape he means not jab karna, but to know, to realize. When we leave this earth, Mara ji says, then we understand whether we were good or bad. Whether we pass the test of taram upon worldly actions and spiritual actions. Find out there and not here. So we should be judging. We should try our best to live in the Tarab. What we can say overall is that in India at that time, effectively there were loads of Tarabs. There were loads of people with different religions. If you were a low caste person, you had a different Tarab. If you were a high caste person, you had a different Tarab. Everybody had a different Tarab. Maharaj said, "There's no need to have so many Tarabs. There's only one real Tarab." As we said before, Sarab Tarab means there is Tarab. हर को नाम जप निर्मल कर वी टू डू नाम जपना एंड इफ वाई टेल्स अस दैट इज योग शब्द ज्ञान शब्द वेद शब्द ब्राह्मण है खत्री शब्द सूर शब्द सूत्र शब्द प्राकृत है सर्व शब्द एक शब्द जे को जाने पेओ नानक काका दास है सोई निरंजन देव मान से तो योगी ते हा दे तर हे शब्द मींस सर Religion, their way of practicing. Jyotis have their way. The Gyanis have their way. The uh, the Vedis, the people who are studying the Vedas, they have their way. The Khatris, the warriors, they have their way. And then also the Shudra, the lower class people, they have their way. Mara says, no, sarv sardam, ek sardam, je ko jaane peyo. Peyo he means the secret. <laughs> If we understand the secret, realizes ki manas ni jaad sab ek jaane. There's only one human race. We have to go to work with the same way, but in non-jumping. 
So, where you had four forms of yoga, karma yoga, jnana yoga, patni yoga, iraj yoga, Maharaj made one, which is kirtan. Jog bani rati rai kirtan gai. Then Guru's heart, there's four different states of life. People in, in India say this, that there was childhood, there was youth, there was elderly, and there was the old. And you're supposed to be in your childhood, learn. In your youth, you learn and you earn. When you get older, you touch from the world. When you get older, you become a sannyasi and hermit. This child ashramas, Maharaj said, no. Baal, Jawani, Al Birdu Pun, Teen Avastha Jan. These are three stages. But without Harsiman, without Rabbi Waidu, Birdha Sahima. They all wasted. There's also, there was the three teaching we talked about, which is Karma, Pashna, Gyan. There's so many rituals. Maharaj says, why call of that out? Do Simran. This is the best thing. Karam, Karam, Pakhman, Jyoti Se, Then Jam, Jagati, Lute. What should we do? Nirbaan Kirtan Gao Karte Ka Nimak Simran Jain Chute So the point is, by doing Simran, we are taking in the highest form of Taram Taram Khan is about listening to Guru Sahib, coming inside their Maryaka and then the two things Guru Sahib always tells us Naam Japo Do good actions and Naam Japo This is the only way to go good There's no confusion about this, let there be no confusion Taram Khan is about winning over our mind by doing these two things Good actions, Seva and Simran so, and we know that if we do that, then we'll be accepted in that throne of Wahi Guru. We will not get beaten by Jamdu because he's standing over our shoulders, but he won't beat us because Guru Sahib will protect us. Harjan Rakhi Guru Gobind, Wahi Guru Guruji themselves will protect us. So, to become Panch, we need to focus upon our Guru and their Guru Mantra and get accepted in that throne of Wahi Guru. So, we'll do some simmer now to ask Guru Sahib with all the strength that please bless his Maharaj that we can also do your simmer and focus. And Tiana Gaki, we can become good six and follow your path.
to listen, accept, and then follow, and then perfectly follow, and achieve that stage of being a Tanya person, winning our mind, and starting to do Simran and good action in this world. Then Maharaj tells us what will happen from this is Gyan Khan. We will then get Gyan. We will then get to achieve spiritual, deep spiritual knowledge. Not just a little bit of now Simran, but really deep spiritual knowledge. So Maharaj is telling us about this. So I'm sure I made loads of mistakes in that body. Uh, please forgive us, Vasanguji. The next body about Gyan Khan will be tomorrow evening at Park Avenue Gurdwara at 6 pm. We do a program there every week. Uh, Sunday 6 p.m. This one was about that kind of specially done today, but tomorrow we'll carry on with Gyan Khan. So if you can come down on Sundays, please give us a question. There's leaflets here, if you wish to take them back on the YouTube channel and also they're outside as well. What we're doing is on a dupa job systematically across the country in, in English to the youth and sometimes the adults like it as well. That's the best they can give up. But it's all going to be in English. So based on Sikhi is our YouTube channel. Go on there and you can watch all the previous videos of Japji Sahib and many more videos doing Prajar in English to the youth explaining Maharaj's Upadesh because Pura Guru is our true Guru, he is perfect. Pure Guru Kasan Upadesh, Paar Kaham, Nikat Karpe. The Gyan we're going to get from Maharaj is we're going to see God. We're going to see him right next to us, right next to us like this. That's the Guru's gift. If we follow their teachings, we're going to get Gyan that will be tomorrow. So, Pura Juta Mahakani Ji, Deho Sir Asi Sriya, Jo Gove, Sahib Sumir, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Hade. Vaheguru Vaheguru